Somewhere between the shores of France and England, this critical battlefield is the stage for a clash of enemy fleets. This idyllic setting will soon be shattered by the thunder of guns and flash of explosions, as only one fleet can be victorious. This is Sea of Fortune. Sea of Fortune is a 48 by 48 kilometer domination style map with three cap points running in a line from west to east. The A cap is on the extreme left, B is in the center, and C is on the far right. The A cap is surrounded by islands, but offers virtually no cover within the cap itself. The aforementioned islands provide plenty of places for friendly radar cruisers to conceal themselves, making aggressive destroyer plays into the cap early in the game very risky and frequently suicidal. A narrow passage past the picturesque castle links Cap A and Cap B in the center. There are only four ways in and out of the B cap, one in each cardinal direction, and no cover inside. The islands near the cap are commonly used as shelter by defending cruisers, who find themselves in turn the primary targets of enemy battleships. Cap C is possibly the easiest cap for destroyers to contest, but that doesn't make it any less dangerous. Wide open to the north and south with a connecting passage to Cap B to the west, ships caught on the cap by enemy radar have nowhere to hide and must vacate the cap or be destroyed. Control of Sea of Fortune can swing very quickly because of how close the capture points are to one another, and the narrow gap between A and B makes defending one cap from the other almost trivial. Teams that allow the action to shift from a north-south axis to an east-west one may find they have an uphill battle to climb. 18 ships, 2 teams, 1 victor. It's time to play Sea of Fortune.